This is Cotton Power Station, or what you can see of it. This was the um, rail entrance where they used to bring in the coal. As you can see, it's permanent, well, I don't know if it's permanently closed, but it's closed. Uh, that route access road there was the uh, was for the lorries, I presume. Let's see if we can get a couple of decent shots of it, but it is absolutely bitterly cold here today. Uh, this is the old railway bridge. I think the I think the line itself is now shut. You can see how cold it is when I mean, you just look at the ice on the, the frost on here. Now the GoPro won't pick this up but I'll get a shot of over there. The power station's just in the frigging distance. And here's the other side of that bridge. You can see it's not been used for such a long time. Not sure how long actually. It is bitterly cold. This was the uh, uh, where they used to collect the ash and things, I think. Temporary access, beware turning traffic. Oh, God. Now, I did come and uh, come all this way. I was going to film West Burton Power Station, which is about four miles away from here. Because it's... Uh, on load at the moment meaning it's generating but as you can see from the weather I got there and you couldn't see past the gatehouse I mean you can't even see much here I'm hoping it'll clear a little bit later but uh, this was one of the entrances I think where the vehicles used to come in. Is that some kind of monument there? Cans of Red Bull there. What's this? Bottle of Corona down there. A lot of Red Bull cans. Hayden, whoever that was, Twix. Oh, that's interesting. In loving memory of a beloved friend. Well, oh, maybe he worked here. So this entrance here, <coughs> there's still an activity going on at the site. Coal and ash and key operated Weybridge. This is as, but it can't get much further than than this, really. No trespassing, private property. No unauthorized use of cameras and filming equipment. I mean, the cooling towers are probably just in the distance there, but uh, you got no chance of seeing them. Not unless. This mist clears anytime soon, which doesn't look like it's going to, does it? These big rabbit holes here. There's a security hut there. I'll 
somebody in it. No smoke in sight. It's really cold. It's about when we got out of the car, it was showing uh, one degree. We'll have a wander down to the gates, and that's about as far as we can go down here. It's a shame the weather's like this. Crystal clear here yesterday. Anyway, this is Cotton Power Station, the one that's uh, permanently shut. As you can see from all the gates being shut, and there's probably very few people on site actually. I don't know if it's in the process of being decommissioned or it's just been closed. Of him. I think it closed a couple of years ago. But Cottom and West Burton, which is about a mile away, well, that's about four miles away from here. Um, they both use the River Trent for the cooling water. Not cooling water. Here's another closer look at the railway. Surprised nobody's come up to me yet. There's another look at the railway look from and the the cooling towers are literally right in front of us there but you can't see them. Let's see if we can get a better picture of that. This road is so dicey, dicey and icy. I'm stood right in front of that camera now. Whoa! <laughs> I'm completely fully aware that I am trespassing. And that was the way the railway trains used to go in. Look at this, how it's frozen here. That's where we were stood a minute ago, just up on that bridge there. <coughs> anyway, this is as much as you can see of Cotton Power Station. <laughs> in the mist and fog. It's just typical. Typical the day I come down here. And there's no point uh, having, even having a look at West Burton because you can get to the gatehouse and that's it unless this mist clears in the next hour or so. I'll have a look but what I will, what we could do is, uh, oh, hey, oh, there's a copper up there, is um, go and have a look at the uh, railway, the disused railway. It's not a copper, it's a security guy, I think. Is it? Or is it police? No, it's security. Well, they were quick to get on me. I'm going on here where it's not as slippy. Hello. Oh, okay. It, well, no, it really isn't. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to get some pictures of it before it's. Uh, are they demolishing it? Are they? Not Eventually. Yet. Well, it takes, is it, takes a Are they decommissioning it now? Are they? It's done now. Oh, it's done yeah, now, is it? All oh, right. When did it shut then? I was trying to work out. Is it about four years 18, ago? No, eighteen months ago. Oh, that. Uh, yeah. Oh, not that long. All yeah. oh, right. Okay. So where have you come from? Uh, I've what come from you? Derby, believe it or not. Yeah. Um, I've uh, I've got an interest in coal powered uh, well what's left of them coal fa powered fire stations. All oh, right. Uh, not fire station power stations. So you're not urban explorer. No 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 no. What do you think? I've I've already come down here and I've uh, not broke my leg yet but uh, 
Um, because also, it's still seen as a national asset. Ah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I wasn't going to go. I know I've come past this bit, but I wasn't going to go try and get past any fencing or anything. No, no, we just know. have to. Obviously, with decommission, you do get a lot of. Yeah, I know what you mean. Explorers, yeah. where you're risking our lives, and you know, yeah. if someone falls off something. Yeah, have they not started demolishing or anything no. yet? So it's still as it was when it shut. Paperwork. Paperwork. Yeah, Google. yeah, yeah. Rules. Tick the boxes. Same with Fiddler's Ferry, isn't it? In um, yeah. I don't know if you know, but that one shut. Liverpool. That is yeah, right. Witness yeah. Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. That one shut about about the same sort of time, I think. Did it March 2020? I think. I think. Um, that's gone through it. It's starting to decommission now. Yeah, um, and I followed. Um, uh, what's the other one? Ferry Bridge. Followed that yeah, coming yeah. down. Eggbridge's of it. So it's way down. I see Ferry Bridge. I used to go home as a marker because go Manchester all the time. Yeah, yeah. Like a ferry Bridge. Now I think it's two towers down Ferry Bridge. There's three still standing. Um, they had eight originally. Yeah. The, the last time was just two towers. Then that was like two towers, wasn't it? Yeah. They, well, they, they had eight, and then they blew one up as like a test thing, yeah. and then they took the last four down last no year before last. I think it was. You know your stuff anyway. Yeah. Oh, I've been following them. You know, and yeah. that's all it's, I'm doing. It's good. It's good to get a hobby. You know. Yeah, and it's um, you know, because uh, years ago, I mean, this I don't know if you know, but. This, this obviously draws the water from the Trent, doesn't yeah. it? As does West Burton. And at one point there was about 11, 12 power stations. Power Mile they used to call uh, it. Megawatt they? Valley it was. was Megawatt it? Valley. Power. Yeah, there's another name for it, yeah. Um, and now there's only active, there's only West Burton and Ratcliffe, which Ratcliffe on Sawney in Nottingham, yeah. is still active. But that actually comes off the saw, but the, the saw comes off the Trent, so it's kind of on the same one. And then there's Drax, obviously, but that's. Well, I'm happy uh, enough that you're there. Uh, just that's all I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's just bad weather for it. You like, can't even ah, see nothing. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I mean, I took the chance. I knew it was going to be f uh, misty where I was, and I thought I'll take the chance, you know, because yeah. I was up this area yesterday with work, and it was cl it was clear yesterday. Yeah. And I thought, well, it's, uh, it's basically good. off the off the Trent. Yeah. We know Anywhere near the here, Trent, yeah. I'd come out there and say, come on, it's not too bad. And yeah. I've come in the walk one time, drove in. And it's Can't been. Your hand in front of your face. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And it's dangerous for us as well because we're driving because it's decommissioned now. It's like. Yeah. Where's the road now? Just exactly. Yeah, yeah. Because I suppose they've took all the, like the non-essential lighting down yeah. and things like that, haven't they? So. Well, the, well, yeah. To go cold. They call it going cold. Go cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Speaking so it's only been eighteen months, now, Senna. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. I'd give another eighteen months before they do it. Yeah. Well, you could do with it running now, couldn't you? Well, yeah. You know, I mean. Uh, Price has gone up as I think well. Burton and uh, Ratcliffe and Drax yesterday were flat out. Yeah. You know, and. Well, it is extra cold, isn't it? Yeah. Well, they're, them two are cold, but uh, Drax has gone to uh, biomass, hasn't it? Mainly biomass. I think there's one unit that's still coal. It's on standby. Well, that's a good way of getting rid of environmental waste, really. When you think of biomass. Yeah. Oh yeah. Those yeah yeah. But the problem is that it, at Drax they're importing the uh, wood pellets from America and Canada. Now that's yeah, costing that much money emissions and things to bring it across, isn't it? And West Burton and uh, Ratcliffe are not burning UK coal, they're importing that coal as well, so it doesn't really make economical sense to me. Yeah. To it does, does it? No, it, it doesn't, does it? No. Like, suck it up. Right, I'm happy yeah. enough with that. Okay, um, that entrance there then, how far down can I get just to take a few photographs? The main road. Just the main from, road? From the main road down. Yeah. Uh, you've can got I not go up to the, the security gas. gate? No, the gas, that's still active, that's like the gas. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, is that the gas? Um, yeah. That's yeah. So they're, they're doing another yeah. station on there, are they, or something? The, the odd thing is, uh, it's, it's very proactive here. Yeah. And um, if you were to go down, then it's an issue calling the police, trespassing. Oh, okay. So, so. Yeah, I mean, I know that, that there, but the, I, uh, I knew that was all shut off anyway, and, you know, there was nowhere. I was just looking at the railhead. Yeah, I, I, obviously we have to investigate who you are, yeah. who your yeah. intentions are. But it's just for your own knowledge, you know. Yeah, I mean, I do know the workings of a power station. Yeah. You know, I've got, I've been into. Like I'm quite happy enough with guys taking pictures on the public highway now. Yeah. But obviously, when you start encroaching, then that. Yeah. To yeah. Tear it when you're that's using all means, so I was like, I call the police, get him pulled. And yeah, that's all I was doing was just. Yeah, you know, it's fine. I'm happy enough. Yeah, with that, it's just. And, you know, uh, just a shame about the weather. Just I thought. It is, isn't it? I thought, yeah. will it clear? No, I think like it something. makes my job easier, clearer. In case of what is that? You know, something. Yeah. Like <laughs> figure lurking at the fence. So did you see me on the camera then, or did you actually see me? Uh, I just drive around. This is just saw a glimpse here. Oh, you was driving I around. Says, I'll come out the front. My, I'd usually come up here and have a chat. But yeah. You know what? I'll just drive around the front. Yeah. I wasn't sure when I saw this over here whether it was similar colours to police, isn't it? At the side, is it? Oh, uh, apart from you, ain't got the muddy. Yeah, you haven't got the blue lights on the top though, are you? No. 
You can't, I don't think you can, can you? Yeah. Well, you can on, on site, site on yeah, you site can on site, site. yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I think you're imitating. Yeah, you're impersonating police officers, aren't you? Okay. Well, I'll have, a, I'll have a wander down there and get what I can from the road, yeah, but... Just stay on the much, highway. Yeah, it's not going to be much, is it? I'll come up to the, the perimeter, but that's it. Okay. Yeah, all right, nice one. Cheers. Just the way it should be. <clears throat> this is the other entrance, and he has asked me not to go past that line. Now that line in the tower there is uh, but you really can't see anything anything at all although you can see more at this place than you could at Westburn you couldn't even see past the gatehouse at Westburn you can't see, I mean the cooling towers would be in the distance there. You just can't see a thing. That's about it really. I might go and have a look at the uh, railway crossing which is over there in the mist somewhere. There's the pylons that used to run from it. Oh there we go. Uniper. Oh it's Uniper that own it. Same police, same people that owned uh, owned Ratcliffe. So what's the EDF? The EDF in Uniper? No. Same uh, company that owned Ratcliffe Power Station. It's Uniper. I think West Burton is um, EDF. And what's this big unit here then? Is this the? Uh, it's not. That's not new. You've got a little construction site here. So it's just sat idle. Start again. So it's just sat idle waiting for uh, demolition. I think once they've finished on uh, Ferry Bridge and uh, Eggborough, it'll be this one and Fiddler's Ferry probably. really can't see a thing. Still hear those buzzing though. Well, that's not anything of any interest. Yeah well that's it from uh, Cotton Power Station site. We're going to have a look at the railway crossing I suppose. A little bit of interest isn't it? Come all this way. <laughs> and get a video of some sort. Right, this is the crossing I was mentioned. This is, I think, the last one before the power station. The power station's just down there in the distance. But you'll never see it because of all this mist. And obviously the rails haven't been used for a hell of a long time. Tell how rusty they are and how the undergrowth is coming up. And then in that direction you've still got the uh, still got the uh, control lights. Obviously you can't walk down there because of the uh, it's probably still a live line, is it? I don't know. We put these timbers here, I think, to prevent people from uh, accessing the tracks. Maybe I don't know. But they've got this is uh, is it Mill Lane? I think this might be Mill Lane. It's so cold, it's a shame that the weather's like this. But you can't get onto the, uh, there's no point going down the rails really. Even the 
the gate's still locked, look. You wouldn't really want to walk on there, would you? But you can tell it's not been used for a long time. Oh, tell you what. Train come hurtling down here now. <laughs> bits of coal here that have fallen out of the uh, fallen out of the wagons obviously as they come in this is this would be the inline I would have thought or the out no this would be the out wouldn't it but you can tell it's not been uh, not been used for a long long time A bit of coal there. It's not actually often you get to stand on a railway line like this. I mean, the crossing's still active because um, still power to that, but. Amazing how quick nature takes back. Let's have a quick look at this here. <clears throat> Get in the middle. So if this has got little bits of coal, would this be the way out when the trains used to come out of the power station? Because on that side there's no coal whatsoever. how quick, I mean this power station has been shut apparently 18 months and look how quick nature takes back you can already, the line's already disappearing down there it is a shame that uh, like I say that the weather's so bad That's about all there is to see here. I dare say if uh, if it was clear, you'd see the power station right in front of us. God, I thought I had to train then. <laughs> so I guess technically this is trespassing on a railway, but there's loads of coal here. I wonder if this is why this side is more overgrown than that side then. Maybe, you know, because, I don't know. Not the safest thing to do. I mean, this side's even getting overgrown as well, look. Yeah, there's no coal there. That's strange. Yeah, there's no coal on that side. So the power station's just in the distance there. still buzzing so the whole thing's still live crossing and everything's still live there's no barrier not gated crossing look at the uh, frost coming off of that but yeah that's uh, still hear that buzzing so there's still power to the lights <coughs> I mean maybe they still use it when they decommission in this station I don't know 
they need to bring stuff out of there I really don't know, it's a bit strange how there's a load of coal just on that section there and then this section here doesn't appear to have any yeah, it doesn't appear to have any, yet yeah, that's still just as overgrown come back another day when it's uh, when it's clearer And you can see a little bit more. Anyway, that was one of the crossings over the railway that leads into Cotton Power Station, or led into Cotton Power Station, as you can see from the from earlier. That stopped buzzing now. The um, entrance to the uh, station is all blocked off.